One of the key features in Origin 2022 is the ability to assign a name to a range of cells, such as a column or a single cell, and use the name in subsequent cell and column formula calculations. Let's go through a few examples of using names. In this sheet, I have abrasion data from two types of tires in column A and column B. Let's click column A and click the mini toolbar button to define a name. Let me give it a name, Tire A. Note that the name can be defined with the scope at sheet, book, or project level. In this case, let's keep it at sheet level. I can add an additional comment such as abrasion data from tire type A and click OK. Notice that as I define names, the object manager will pick them up and show them here as well. Let's go to column B and define it the name tire B. Let's keep it at sheet level and then abrasion data from tire B. Once a name has been defined, I can go to a cell, for example, to calculate the mean here, and I can start typing mean. Also note that in this version, we have an autocomplete, so it's easy to find functions, and also easy to pick up names. If I start typing, it will show names that are available. So I can choose tire A. Now press enter. Similarly, I can go here and type mean, tire B, and also let's do standard deviation. I can pick the function from the autocomplete dialog and then type in the name and complete the calculation. Okay, let's look at another example. Here I have some nosy data and I wish to perform moving average by using a smoothing window on the left and right. So I already have set up two values here for the left point and the right point for the smoothing. Let me click on the first cell and click the define name button. If there is a string to the left of the cell, Origin will automatically pick that up as the name. So you can accept that. Similarly, let's define for the second values, which is the right points, and click OK. Now that these are defined, I can go to my f of x row to set column values, and I can start typing here m, o, v, and then Origin shows all the moving functions. The second one is the one that I want. And then the first input is column b, which I will smooth on. For the second input, let's pick up the defined name left PTS. And for the third input, let's pick up the defined name right PTS. Click OK. Then you will get the smooth results. Once this is set up, I can change my values and you can see the results auto update. Okay, now let's look at some interpolation examples. So here in this sheet, I have XY columns of time versus delta temperature. And my objective is to find y values of a new set of x values by interpolating this xy data. So let's choose column B and define a name for it. I'm going to call it delta. And this time, I'm going to set it to be project level. And I'm going to define it as a function. You can do this for y column or z column. In the case of y, it will use x on the left side to do x interpolation. In the case of z, it will use XY on the left to do interpolation. Then we click OK. Once this is defined, I can even go to the script window and for example type delta 5 equals. Then I will get the interpolated value of X equals to 5. OK, now I can come over to the sheets. In the F of X of the fourth column, I can simply type delta C. Using delta as a function, I'm computing interpolated temperature values for a new set of x values from column C. A similar thing can be done on the matrix level. Let me hit Control L, which is the shortcut to define a new name, and I can give it a new name such as MyMat. And again, let me define it to be project level and click OK. So now that I'm here and it says MyMat, you can see these x coordinates are going from 5 to 14, and the y coordinates are going from 10 to 100. So let me pick my mind map of 9.5 comma 55. These are the x and y values that do not exist in the matrix. So press equals and it will give me 46 point something which looks about right because the values are around this area. So this shows you that you can perform interpolation using matrix after assigning a name and using the name as a function. You can open Name Manager from the data menu, which will then show you all the names that you have defined, and the scope, and the comments, 
etc. You can make changes here, such as adding comments, for example, matrix used for interpolation. You can also change the scope level if you wish to. The other thing to note is that as I mentioned earlier, the object manager itself shows names defined in each sheet. You can single click to select the corresponding range in sheet. Double click to open the name manager dialog. Thank you for watching.